everyone, welcome to the latest video. As you can see, I'm on my own. DJ Steve can't make it this week, so I feel like I've lost my right arm. Honestly, it's weird. Well, I'm going to give it a go. We're at a new location. It's a farmer's pond. It's in an area with a lot of steeped history. Back, back in years gone by, Romans used to actually camp in this area. So you never know, there might be something in this pond. It's not been magnet fished before. Let's see what happens. And I always say, let's do this, guys! <laughs> Believe it or not guys, that's the only thing I've found so far apart from a few rocks that's metal in this pond. Piece of flat for no idea what that come off but that, that's it so far so it is a bit, of, a bit of a lame adventure at the moment but we keep going you never know, you never know. Interesting. So I wasn't getting anything in at all. And then I got these two pieces of metal out. No idea what it is or what it's off. And then there's this one as well. Um, definitely metal, not rock. Seems as if the metal is twisted. Strange little item. I can't clean it up much more than that. But it's got, I, I dare say, a drill bit style twist in it. What could it be? It looks like it could be a loop at the end, as you can see. Hmm, maybe it's not so empty in here after all. I think next to the road is probably going to give us the best action in this pond, so uh, we keep going. Take you to the action, guys. Looks like a handle off something, a little bucket, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. So they look like a pair of pliers or pinches to me. Uh, um, so there are some things coming up, there's not a lot in there. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say anything really, really old, you can tell from the design. But yeah, mm, interesting. Um, pipe. Um, Obviously being either snips at the end, I have no idea what that's off, but as you can see another bit of pipe. So things are coming out slowly. It's not a great deal in here I don't think, but yeah, it's still good to find stuff. Makes a proper splash when it goes in. Ooh. Ooh. It's Something else just come in there guys, as you can see, it uh, looks like it could have been some kind of um, nail or flat head that's been bent down, or is it actually a proper hook? No idea. Um, like I say, I've got no idea how old these things are either. It's never been magnet fished before. So what's that? What's that off? What's that off? We keep going. Ok 
Okay, so we didn't find much here. I've got another location that you might notice and think, ah, we've been there before. Let's go check it out now, see if we can find anything to round off the day. First chuck. Oh. And what looks like the bottom of a sign, or yeah, definitely the bottom of a sign, maybe, uh, or stand for something. So there you go. First chuck. Interesting guys, so second chuck looks like someone's bag that um, has been uh, potentially stolen. Uh, so it would have been some kind of handbag. And uh, there's a, a coin as well. A coin is a shilling. One shilling coin. That's crazy. So I'll clean that up and I'll show you to the camera better in a little bit. But yeah, one shilling. So two, two throws at the pond and already finding shed loads i love this place it's amazing but yeah my first old coin that's awesome let's keep going now i've just found another coin so when i pulled that bag in there was another coin in there so it's another shilling i'm just going to check the floor because we might have fallen out oh here we go and now I can't tell because it's so dirty but I've just found a further coin tiny tiny little coin I'll clean that up as well so that's three coins potential stolen bag um, can't see anything else on the floor so let's get the magnet back in there guys let's do this so as you can see the shillings cleaned up really nicely both from the year 1958. The third coin actually turned out to be just a piece of metal that was on the side. Well, that's cool. So, just pulled that out. Um, it's probably got a screw or something that's magnetic, but a little fighter jet. That's crazy. So, yeah, honestly, the evolution, it just locks on to any, any piece of metal and it pulls everything in. It's so strong. So, yeah, how crazy. There you go guys, just pulled that out. Car radio, um, this place doesn't disappoint. Again, I've probably chucked less than five times. There you go, car radio. Tell you what guys, it's not the same without Steve. Um, expecting him to come out with some random song or start singing about Christmas or something. Petrol cap off a uh, car or bike maybe. Yeah, so random, honestly. Dagobah always de always delivers something. It's crazy. Here. So 
this with some kind of junction box guys because he's got some instructions on about turning it on and off random again oh there you go Another piece of random metal, bent, no idea what it is, got a couple of holes in it, as you can see guys, and then few of these if I get the magnet off that is another part of a motorbike I'm pretty sure I mean, even without Steve you've got the electronics there the frame yeah another part of a motorbike so cool I'll tell you what as well I'm throwing the magnet fairly far into this pond and the clamp onto the motorbike that was quite far into whoever struck that in it's got a good throw on it would tell you so there you go guys with the evolution it gets everything everywhere and that someone's obviously lobbed all them in parts there for piping and they've all gone in look at that mental Look at that! Bonkers. Absolutely, talk about the pipe master. Another random piece of pipe. Definitely the pipe master now. To me mucker Steve, I'm missing you lad. Boom boom, boom let me say whale. Well. What looks like some uh, safety box. It's got a key in with a mechanism. Obviously, it's empty as per usual. And I've got a spoon on there as well. Yeah, spoon. And uh, what is an empty? What looks like an empty deposit box or cash box or something. It's got a key on. It's got to be something like that. Oh. Some uh, little bracket there, guys. Not much. Just gonna have a couple of throws on the far side, see what happens, and then we're gonna call it a day because it's tea time. But yeah, Dagobah, I've only been here about 40 minutes. Absolutely awesome as usual. Woo! A ring ding 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 ding! What's your job about, will I'm too knackered like Steve was last week, but. Northern motorbike park there guys, that's the second one in this hour, so there's still more treats in here, you just got to find them. That's for you Steve. Ah. Oh. Guys, look at that, old school radio, just pulled that in. Wow, this place honestly with the right magnet, I bet it's got loads of stuff in the silt. But yeah, how cool is that? Two radios today. Oh guys, I'm going to have two more chucks and I'm going to knock on the head because I'm flagging and I need some tea. But this is ace. Love magnet fishing. Mm. A bit of 
some trees. You're loving it, loving it, loving it. Loving it like this. Do you really like it? Is it, is it wicked? I love magnet fishing. Last throw guys, here he goes. For me, and obviously not him because he's not here, and I'm hoping he'll be back with me very soon. Thanks for watching guys, really hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Till next time, see you later guys.